Here's a bit of a Jeff moment then. Steve, bit of a legend, has come down to uh, show me his Audi so we can get some pictures of the cars together. He's just going off in the Saab because he's never driven one before. Steve knows fast cars, so it's going to be interesting to get his opinion when he comes back. Steve should do YouTube. He's got better stories than me. I might just start filming him. I've got this lovely sort of picture lined up with the Audi, but really I need to get over there to get my phone in there to get the picture. But look at this. It's all stinging nettles and I'm not wearing any shoes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to brave it. Right, YouTube, this is for you. How many times are we going? Ow! A bit further and then I can get my picture. Ow! Yeah, definitely stung. Right. Yeah, there we go. There's my picture. Right, let's do it. First time I'm seeing this car in the flesh, um, what have we got? Well, the roof doesn't sit quite the way it should, but that's really not a major problem to resolve. Um, the graphics weren't on the car when I first saw it. Um, and I, I said to Steve, I, I thought this would be the sort of thing where you'd buy a car with the graphics and then you take them off and make it look better. That's what I would normally do. But Steve's a bit funny. He's done it the other way round. He bought the car without the graphics and the ABT stickers and he's put them on. If I had a hairdryer and a credit card right now, I would literally take them off for the photos. Sorry, Steve, I think they look naff. But as Steve said to me, um, he does quite like some graphics, which I, I think is hilarious. Um, he offered me a little while ago a lovely looking, I'm getting so stung now. I'm gonna run for it. He offered me a lovely looking silver Mercedes SLK. Oh, I got so many stings. And um, it looked fantastic in the pictures. And then when I saw it in the flesh, it had red sports stickers and like a sort of trim line down the side of it. I said, did you buy it like that? And uh, yeah, apparently Steve's got, Steve's got a bit of a fetish with, um, with stickers. So what else we got? I think it's quite, it's quite cool, but it absolutely definitely needs, <laughs> the graphics are terrible. Oh, <laughs> uh, you might like them. They're not even straight, Steve. You haven't even put them on straight. Okay, that's enough of the graphics. I'm gonna stop. Don't mention the graphics. Let's stop talking about the graphics. I mentioned it once, but I think I got away with it all right. It's a 1.8, it's done 114-ish thousand miles, 116,000 miles. The red leather looks way better in this light than it did in the original pictures that I saw. Um, this will be a rod or something, but the main thing is, it might just be because the fabric's caught cool there, to be fair. Main thing is the roof works. That's really all you need to know with a convertible like this. Um, it's clean, it's tidy, it's straight. It hasn't got any rust on it. It's got lots of service history. And um, I, yeah, I really like it. What's he doing with this? Oh yes, completely slipped my mind. <laughs> it's clearly not, a, maybe it is an ABT special edition. Oh yes, completely forgotten it, just like that. Yeah, Audi bastard tuning, that's what it is. In fact, it's really good. Um, but no, it's a cool car. Uh, all jokes aside, uh, all, all bets off, it is a cool car. Inside, we have classic Audi simplicity. Audis are boring, aren't they? Um, you might like Audis. I, I don't really know. I don't get the fascination with Volkswagen and Audi cars. Um, we've got the Audi Delta tape system, which is good. Uh, some big knobs for your heat, which is refreshing. And also some big dials. Look at that. Those are cool. Those are about as 80s as you get. Because, of course, this car is... Um, it's older than it looks, basically. It's on a W, isn't it? So that makes it a 2000. But the Audi 80 itself was long gone by then. We were well into the Audi A4. Um, the, the convertible Audi 80 was effectively the, the, the run out model. So it's a, it's a bit of a dinosaur in that sense, even though it was registered in 2000. The format for this car goes way back. Um, it sort of stretches towards the 80s. So very old fashioned looking thing that is absolutely very cool. Right, let's go get Steve's reaction when he comes back in my aero. But this is the first car I've had on the channel with a red leather interior and I like it. I've driven this car. It drives very well indeed. It just drives like an Audi or a Volkswagen. Um, 
They're not like old Volvos and Saabs and BMWs. Stuff just seems to work. They don't, you know, they're not built as well. They don't have that level of charm that your Volvos and your Saabs and your BMWs and your Mercedes have, but they've, they've got an element of just getting on with the job, which is good. Everything feels tight. Suspension feels good. Steering feels good. Everything feels exactly as it should which is, is nice. It is. I like the Audi. It just reminds me a bit too much of, of our Mark three and a half Golf convertible that we had. Um, and I never really fully bonded with that car. But this is a 1.8 litre. That was a two litre. This is a 1.8. It's peppy. Plenty of power. Uh, very drivable. Cheap to run. Cheap to insure. Perfect Jeff fodder. My verdict on the Audi actually is... It is the quintessential Jeff car because it's worse than it looked in the pictures, but it's still very desirable in its own right. Steve's not back yet in Massar, which means one of two things. Either he's crashed it because it's so fast or he's run out of petrol because there was actually only 20 miles left in the tank. Well, that's going to be awkward because he's left his phone in the Audi. Here's Steve, look, and he is telling me that you have to latch the roof properly. There you go. But the, the material's out a little bit there, so maybe you put it up. I haven't done the full training course. You always got to tuck the fabric in. Uh, yeah, see if you can tuck it in, and then that should. Then you're, you're ready for your car show then, you see. You can get it right. Down it goes. That might do it. It didn't do it, but it's close enough. But at least the deck does go down properly, which is good. There we go. All right. Right. Let's chat Saab. All right, Steve, magic tree. Um, you've been following Jeff Bice cars for a little while, actually. All the time. All the time. All the time. From the beginning. <laughs> From the beginning. So uh, you're a local guy, well, well, well known locally. I hope so. <laughs> actually, I hope not. <laughs> That's what usually like, we'll just blank your face out. Or do you yeah. pixelate it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and you, I, I had the green Merc off you. Yeah, the green Merc off me. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think of my Saab? I like it. That's a big executive car, that. Yeah. Mm. So you you know fast cars because you, you're you quite experienced in going quite fast, I think. Yeah, when I was a young man. When you were a young man? Yeah, many years ago. Not now. I like to just potter along. Potter. Bit of pottery. Yeah. Um, you've got some really cracking car stories. I think you and I should just sit together and, oh, and talk some that, yeah. car stories. Cause gone, gone forever. Your stories are hilarious. <laughs> um, oh but go on then. You'd not had an Aero before. No, I've had a convertible. Yeah. So O2 convertible. We Was had. that a 2 litre or 2.3? It was the Vauxhall engine one. So what would that be? Would that be a... It's a manual. So it's a later one then, wasn't it? Yeah, later. Yeah. But it was a really nice car. And because of my back getting bad, I remember, and Albus was reminding me, we got in this car and I just went, my back's not bad. And it's the same with that. Yeah. The seats are so comfortable in them, aren't they? Yeah. You know, they really think about it. The, quir the Saab's a quirky car, isn't it? It is, It's absolutely. for a quirky man, yeah. it's as simple as that. But the seats are just right. They really suit me. Yeah. I really like it. Um, you're not selling it, me. <laughs> <laughs> what about that acceleration, though? Oh, amazing. And you've got a turbo boost gauge. Yeah. And any car, if you're a kid of the 80s, it's got a turbo boost gauge. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about what is there to tell me about your Audi. I have just done, which you'll see when I put this on YouTube, I might have given you some stick for the stickers. I mentioned it once, but I think I got away with it all right. Yeah, but you know I sticker everything, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I, I always do. Yeah. I stick it. I can't help myself. I don't know what it is. It just... It's eBay, isn't it? I just stick... I mean, I stick it up that SLK, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I, I remember seeing it. I can't help yeah. it. Something <laughs> makes me do it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so do you like Steve's stickering up? Shall I do that? Yeah. 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 So we, we, I tell you what, we, we, we do a YouTube special. I'll do the Saab while we're waiting. I'll go buy a car and then I'll bring it to you. <laughs> and I'll sticker it it'll up. It'll be like pimp my ride, but without exhibit. Yeah. You I could... miss him. I miss him. Rob, when we first yeah. got your van, it was old Las Vegas style. Oh, up. Yeah. We hooked you up with the Matrix Gold Flake paint and 20... Thousand rhyme stripes all over your van. Oh, that's pimping right there. Do you know what? I was watching on YouTube the other day. I got in, you can now watch Pimp My Ride all the old episodes on I it. Prime or Netflix. And I got into watching what happened to them. And then I was like, and this is one of you Are know, they all dead when you're on a late night YouTube binge. And it was like, where is exhibit? What happened to all the cars? And like, there's YouTube videos <laughs> on how it was all fixed and this, that, and the other. And but his problem was he was an established rapper, and that meant he was cool. 
But then he did MTV and then he went mainstream and then he stopped rapping and nobody thought he was cool anymore. It killed it just, his career. It just ruined him. Yeah. So yeah. if me and you do Jeff My Ride, Steve My Ride. And I just stick up all these cars in the car park while they're walking their dogs. And absolutely. They don't it. Yeah. And then yeah, I'll, I'll hide it. in a bush and we can do. We can actually do it pretty quickly. We're pretty good at it now. <laughs> they're not always straight, but we can do it. But you've got to remember, they are removable if you don't like them. So don't, don't be offended. And again, like, have a go. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. They, you, they, you can just take it off. They don't damage the paint. They're just removable. Just use your little nail and pick yeah. it off and yeah. there you go. Do it slowly. If you do like it, it's a bonus. It is a bonus. It there is. Also, that helps if you have bought a car from down the road and then put it on eBay for twice the price. It's not the same car. Yep. No, I, I, I saw this car for sale the other week. No, 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 no that no, one no, didn't no. have stickers. Didn't have flames down the side. <laughs> so, uh, but it's nice, isn't it? It's hey, listen, right. I, I used to love these. And when I couldn't afford stuff like this, you know, I used to see, I, I remember being at school, seeing the first ones, like in the early 90s, the, yeah. the Geneva Motor Show, and I thought, oh, these are nice. Its distinctive, up-to-date design immediately sets it apart from all other convertibles. On the Audi convertible, great value is attached to the quality of all components. Here, the top, of course, plays a central role and is therefore subjected to particularly stringent tests. Each individual must find out for himself what convertible driving is all about. This is a base one, isn't it? It's, it's hardly got anything to it. But what? what but the thing is, you, you know, say that though. What would you want? You could maybe have electric seats, which you wouldn't want anyway. Well, you could have, the, you could have, the, you know, you could have a lot of things. You have fancy wheels, yep. fancy headlights, this maybe is, this, he, heated seats. He, yeah, exactly. Heated seats. You have a nice radio in it. This has just got the basic Audi Delta, and I mean, you know. But now, in 2022... You know how we like retro cool? We yeah. don't like new stuff. New stuff no. doesn't... I mean, it's got the horrible steering wheel. It's got the four-spoke wheel. But I'm not an Audi guy, so I wouldn't know. Oh, that. yeah. Well, I mean, I had a V6 Final Edition years ago. Yeah. I paid, like, eight grand for it. Yeah. You know, but do you know what? This gives me the same smiles. It's got electric roof. I bought one of these years ago for, like, five grand. It had a manual roof. Yeah. Oh, and, I, and I remember buying it off the guy, and I went, how does the roof work? He went... Well, you want to do that and you, you have to get out and move it. I went, there's no button. Yeah. And I, and I thought, no, he's, he's, he's just trying to get rid of me. It had no button. It didn't have an electric roof. So this has got electric roof and yeah. it works. And I think yeah, it does, yeah. a 22 yeah. year old car with electric roof, you know, that's nice. And the yeah. thing is, you, you know, you're never going to lose money, are you? No, no, you're and not. And it's, it's got a nice four cylinder engine in it. So it's not drinking fuel. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's nothing, got a lot nothing, going nothing can really go wrong with it, can it? No, that's, that's bad. That, that's what I was kind of saying. Like, I've always found the Volkswagen Audi cars kind of boring because they just sort of work. Bland, aren't they? They are a bit bland. But in but a nice they, way. But in a nice way. But they, Germanically bland. And four cold meat salads, please. Germanically bland, but they do what they do and they do it very well. Mm. They've got a following, absolutely. Um, um, you know, you, you, you open the door and you shut the door and you're like, blimey, that is shut. It's like a Georgian door, isn't <laughs> it? It is, it is. But, you know, everything works but because there isn't that much here. Yeah. Um, you know, and it isn't rotten. It's, it's got a few bits and bobs, but, you yeah. know, it's not going to cost you a fortune, is it? And it drives nicely. So, yeah. engine bay seems quite nice. And you, I tell you what, you've done a nice job on that engine bay. I'm did quite you do that? I did, yeah. While striping. I was, whilst... Whilst doing the stripes. Whilst doing the pinstripes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm impressed. Your car Thanks. preparation skills are... Um, I think we'll, we'll do a special episode. <laughs> we'll do a... St <laughs> Steve, my Jeff. <laughs> Right, um, thanks that for coming. Could be misread, that could be misread, couldn't it? I think it could. I think yeah. it's funny. Um, yeah, so, you know. So there it is. There it the is, there it is, yeah. yeah. What's your favourite car? You're, um, you're a BM man, aren't you, really? I am a Beamer boy, yeah. yeah. I like my Beamers. Can't go wrong with a Beamer. As long as, I mean, if you don't mind oil leaks on your driveway, yeah. and when you slam the door, a bit of rust in the sills, yeah. you can't go wrong with an E46 or an E, E39 yeah. or E53. Yeah. They're all good cars, but the new stuff. Anything after 2005, I'm just, done not anything for me. Yeah, I think you're, uh, so. that's probably why you started following Jeff Boy's cars. I think why so, you really, still mate. do. I think, I think, we're I in think so, mate, yeah. <laughs> you know, a Volvo T5R for me. Yeah. Oh, you know, and same with the Saabs and all that sort of stuff. I just, I just remember being in the 2000s thinking, the cars can't get any better. And yeah, I don't yeah. think they have. They've just yeah. got electronic and clever, haven't they? Yeah. And that absolutely. means we can't fix them. But they're not better as cars, are they? It's not better no. at being a car. No. No, and, I don't think so. And that's, that's the thing, you take this era, this year, you know, this car, because it's based on the on the Audi 80, maybe it's a little bit older than the Saab, but they've both got everything like if you needed to drive either of these cars down to the bottom of France tomorrow, not a problem, is it? No, and if anything went wrong, I think you could still fix it on the side of the road. Yeah, agreed. Where you know you don't have to plug it in and 
reset something, you'd fit a new part and it would work. And you can you, like you can see it all when you open the bonnet. You know, you can see what you need to do to get a cable tie around something. And you can reach everything. You yeah. don't just open it up and it's flat. There's loads of space in the front of this one. You won't, remember, they, they normally have a V6 in them. This is Absolutely. like the little... I think it's sort of got a Golf GTI engine, really, hasn't it? Yeah, but the 1.8... Four cylinder... Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. Who's showing our knowledge here? <laughs> Weird. It's I, got an yeah. engine or, or but something. But, yeah, and it, it's not oil leaking and... Yeah, yeah. So. Just a nice, clean, honest Jeff car from Steve. Yeah. Anyway, right. cool. Thanks for that. Cheers, mate. Cup of tea Pleasure. time. Indeed. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.